In this video, I'm going to show you how to do an oil change on this 2013 Cadillac SRX with a 3.6 liter V6. Let's get started. Looking underneath on the passenger side, you'll see your engine oil pan right there. And right at the tip of it, there is your 15 millimeter drain plug. So with a wrench or a ratchet, whatever you have, go ahead and break it free. I have my collection bucket ready to catch my fluid. As I unthread it, I'm pressing it inward. That way the oil will not come out as soon as it's on the last thread. I have control of it. So when, it, when I feel that it's on the last thread, what I'm gonna do is pull straight out really fast and now let it drain. That will avoid any potential mess. Now that it has stopped flowing down, it's down to a steady drip and I can basically cap it off now and call it done. So I'm gonna wipe off this area, inspect your drain plug, I clean it up, make sure that the rubber on it is still good. This is what makes the seal. If this is bad, it's gonna leak oil from your drain plug. So I'll just go ahead and give it one last wipe and then put the drain plug back in. I'm gonna give it a quick snug with my wrench so it seals up and then I'll grab the torque wrench and we'll torque it down. The torque for this is 15 foot-pounds. Now right here is the oil pan, right where we drained the oil. And if you look in front of it, right up there next to the exhaust, between the exhaust and the AC compressor, you'll notice your oil filter and to remove it. Sometimes you can grab it and spin it by hand just like that. Other times you might need an oil filter wrench, which fits right on these cutouts here. If it's too tight on there, you'll need it, but you should be able to take it out by hand. Have a collection bucket ready because that will leak oil also. Unthread it. And as you can see, it's already leaking oil. Go ahead and take it out the rest of the way. Okay, let this drain. Let's clean up our mess and get the new oil filter in. At this point, if you want to, you can prime the filter. I recommend it. Don't go full because it doesn't sit upright straight. Um, it does sit at an angle, so you don't want it to pour out when you go to thread it on. As you can see, I'm letting it soak into the filter material in there. And I'm gonna take some residual oil here that poured outside and lubricate the gasket. You don't want this to go on dry. It's best if you lubricate it because if you put this on dry, you have a higher chance of the oil filter getting stuck on there and the oil will actually help it make a better seal. Also, you wanna check for the old gasket when you take the filter off. Make sure it's still on the filter. If it's still up on the block, that is not good. You wanna remove it. You'll double gasket it if you put this one on top of the old one and it will not seal. Oil will shoot straight out the side, create a mess and potential engine damage. So, so work the oil into the filter material. And as you can see, a lot of it soaked in. That's perfect. Let's put it into the vehicle. Give this a quick wipe down here. Grab the new filter, slide it up on there and let's go ahead and thread it on. After you feel that it bottomed out, which is right about here, you want to turn it about half to three quarters of a turn in total, or basically until it gets nice and snug. But don't over tighten it and definitely do not use an oil filter wrench to tighten these. You just want to squeeze that rubber gasket a little bit, compress it, and that'll make the seal nice and tight. Now let's fill the engine with oil. And as you can see, if you go under the hood, right there at the front on the passenger side is your oil cap. And right on it, it'll even say what kind of oil you need, 5W30. So make sure you have the right kind. And this vehicle will take six quarts of it. If you wanted to use a funnel, go ahead. If not, just be careful not to spill it everywhere. And like I said, put in six quarts of 5W30. Okay, my six quarts are in. I'm gonna put back the oil cap. And if you look next to the oil cap right here, you'll see the oil dipstick. Go ahead and pull it out, wipe it off at the same time. What you're looking for is for the oil level to be right in between those dots that you see here. Now stick it back down all the way, pull it back out. You'll notice that ours is basically right above the top dot. And um, on the other side, you'll see some little hash marks. And that is because I haven't started the vehicle yet. So it will be right on the top line after six quarts or a little bit above. Once you start the vehicle, the oil gets circulated through everything. It fills the oil filter, so it'll drop down a little bit, but that is right where you wanna see it. So let me show you how to reset your oil change light. Put the dipstick back. So once you're inside your vehicle, do not step on the brake pedal. You wanna hold the ignition button down, keep holding it. It's gonna turn into accessory. And if you just keep holding it, there we go. 
That's in the on position now. Now what you want to do is use the left button on the steering wheel, press it once, that's going to bring you over to the left screen over there, and then use the same button to scroll down, flip through the options here until you see, oh, there it is, oil life. And all you have to do is just hold this button down, keep holding it for several seconds until the oil life will say 100%. There it is, 100% oil life, that means everything has been reset. And now press the ignition button again, that'll shut everything off, and then you can go ahead and take it for a test drive. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.